Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Storytime in Seacliff. Yesterday's clue was a letter, an envelope with something inside. And as it turns out, it was an invitation. The story, as some are, is sad in the middle, but it gets very, very happy at the end. Okay, so you ready? What time is the party? Kathleen said to Charles as they whizzed home on their bicycles. One o'clock Saturday, Charles replied, and Minnie's ears perked up. Charles is having a party, she thought. <gasps> she ran all the way home to see if her invitation was in the mailbox. <gasps> but when she opened it, there were a few letters, but they were for her parents. Oh, hmm, Minnie thought. I wonder where it is. In her kitchen, the phone began to ring. Charles, she ran, and when she heard his voice, I'm so excited, I, I heard about Growing worms in science class, Charles finished. Are you too? Worms, Minnie shrieked. Well, actually mealworms, Charles said. Uh, but I lost the list of things that we have to bring to school tomorrow. Do you have, do you have them? A worm, said Minnie. No, said Charles. The things that the worms would need, like a jar and what kind of food. Well, never mind. I'll call you back and I'll explain later. It's not his birthday on Saturday, Minnie kept thinking. Minnie kept thinking as she started her homework. She knew his birthday was in June, just like hers. Minnie checked the vocabulary words for school, and sure enough, the word party came up. Oh, I hope he calls me soon. That night, during supper, the phone rang. I'll get it, Minnie said. She was sure it was Charles. But no, it was a wrong number. As she dressed for bed, she looked in the mirror and she noticed the pattern on the uh, shower curtain reminded her of party streamers. She kept thinking about Charles and the party. Well, the next day, Minnie didn't see Charles at school all day long. That afternoon, she raced home to check the mailbox. Oh, she was sure it was going to be in there, but no, it wasn't. Oh no, think positive, she said to herself. I'm sure the invitation will come tomorrow. Mm. Next day, it was Thursday, she did receive a note from Charles at school and it said, oh, I named my mealworm after you. I thought you'd like that. Love Charles, your friend. But it didn't say anything about the party. Oh, she sat at the table for supper, counting the days until Saturday. Oh, when would she hear from Charles? That night after supper, she was in the bathtub and she was practicing her words for her quiz. Oh, then she started to think maybe the party had been canceled. Maybe Charles's mother said that he could only invite six guests and I would be the seventh. It's okay, I don't have to go to the party. Well, by Friday morning, Minnie was miserable. She forced herself to eat breakfast and she knew her mom would give her a hard time if she didn't. Then she started to think, maybe he thought I was already invited. That's it, Charles meant to invite me and he forgot to. Oh, how do I, how do I ask someone if I'm invited? Oh, her class took their spelling quiz and Minnie did just fine. And she was in the cafeteria gathering up her courage to ask Charles about the party. And he was up there and she was here. So she walked over and some of the bigger kids said, no cutting, go to the back of the line. And by the end of the day, she still hadn't asked Charles. Oh no, the bell rang. 
Charles, Charles, she yelled. She saw him on the line for the bus. Look, look, look. Come, come see. She wanted to ask him about the invitation. But he got on the bus. He hadn't heard her. That night, Minnie ate very little supper. She went to bed early. Her mom said, what's the matter, Minnie? Um, I thought I thought I was going to get invited to Charles's party. And her mom said, maybe you will. Minnie said, no, tomorrow's the party and I still haven't heard. Oh, Saturday morning, Minnie drove past Charles's house and sure enough, there were balloons and streamers. Oh no, she said, I guess I really wasn't invited. phone was ringing when she got home. She was hoping it was Charles. Maybe he noticed that she wasn't at the party. No, it was her other friend, Kathleen. She said, come on over. We're playing ball in my backyard. Okay. So she went over. And the kids were all outside playing. And Minnie kept thinking about Charles and the party. Just then, just then, she heard some rustling in the bushes. <gasps> it was Charles. What are you doing here? Why aren't you at your party? It's not my party, said Charles. My house is a zoo. It's my little sister's party. It's her birthday, and I don't want to be around there. Oh, Charles, Minnie said, all week I thought, you thought, you thought I was going to go to my sister's party? No way. I'd rather be here with you any day. Minnie smiled a big, big smile and said, me too. And that's the end of the story of I'm not invited. Oh, wow. That, you know, I wondered how that was going to end. I'm glad it had a, a happy ending. Now let's see about our birthdays. So the cake, vanilla and chocolate, chocolate, we have Valentina, we have Antonia, Riley, Bevy, B, Ben, Henry, Anna, and Mac, all for chocolate. Mm. On the vanilla side, we have Haley, Allison, Maeve, Molly, Alice, Martha, Clara, Graham, Audrey, Lila, and Joseph all are voting vanilla. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chocolate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven vanilla. Okay. Let me make sure because Valentina and Antonia voted late last night did they vote for Charles? Mm, they did so very very big surprise vanilla vanilla wins it's going to be a largely vanilla cake there we go all right we have a dear dear friend who's graduating from high school mm -hmm. and his name is joe and joe has been coming to the library since he was a little boy for story hour and then he comes and he helps us. He helps us out when we need camera work. So we're gonna celebrate Joe's graduation, okay? Happy graduation to you. Happy graduation to you. Happy graduation, dear Joe. Happy graduation to you. All right, everybody. Thank you. Oh, we're over on, I've almost forgotten. And this is, a, I love this clue. Look at it, friends. Well, what will that story be? Okay, go for it. Thank you, cameraman Dan. Thank you, Oberon. And remember, I love you all very, very much.